I can change it to any color, but you know, I did. We did red and white this time. All right, let's come over to the uh, powder station, uh, which is right there. I'm talking like I'm going around the building. Y'all hear that? Let's go over to the powder station. <laughs> oh Lord! <laughs> I said the powder station. <laughs> Now on this, on these mats, you want to use black powder. So, hey, we can't get these wet. Oh man. All right, that's what I use. The black powder is used to uh, to block the, the the dye, the garment from going through your white ink. The only time I use black powder is on dark garments. So I don't use it on white garments. I use it on black garments. So if my shirt is black, I use it on black, and I do navy blue. Uh, other than that, everything is I use white. I'm not saying you can't do it with the white ink, but your ink has to be. You have to raise your white ink levels up because you want that, you don't want that uh, um, garment to go through it. All right. A lot of y'all was talking about how the paper bends. This is what you need to get, a flat board. All right, get you a flat board. As long as you got a flat surface and lay it on it, it won't bend. If you don't have a flat surface, it's going to be in, okay? All right. Then, we're here. I don't know if you can see how close I am to this, but I'm moving my hand back and forth. I'm not stopping and sitting in one spot. It don't take that long to do it. I'm going back and forth. Once I start seeing it start turning white, I know I'm ready. Done. Now I'm going to cut them up into sections. Don't be laughing at my scissors. Hey, we all about saving over here. Ted, stay from the dollar. Y'all see that? Stay from the dollar store. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I want y'all to see it.
Your powder needs to stay in the container and closed at all times. You know, it will get moisture on it. Okay, all right. So these mats are a booger. Let's get this thing over here just a little bit where y'all can see this. See this? I guess I better have some wire pliers in here too. too. We're going to use my other wire pliers. What's your address? I need mail some silk. <laughs> oh, man. See what I'm talking about? Some people go get banned from the lives. But they don't know how to act. <laughs> I knew y'all gonna talk about my scissors, though. I already knew it. I said, it gonna be some people in there talking about my scissors. I got some big ones in there. But I got them in there doing something totally different than what I'm doing in here. They have like a little staples in them that you have to take out with the wire pliers. Once you take those staples out, they'll come apart. Um, but you want to make sure you get those plastic pieces out of there. I don't know if you can see them right there. See those little plastic pieces? You want to get those out because they will melt. And then you'll be buying some more. But these these uh, mats cost me um one said like nine dollars and some change. I won't you know quote it, but it's like nine dollars and some change, y'all. So the whole set they have uh, I think I seen gray and black. I wanna say I seen blue too, so um you know if you really wanted to <laughs> really wanted to do it, you know you can dye these things too. So I'm just gave you another idea. You can dye them and then you can make them any color you want. So just keep that down too. Any color you want. You know, but you need to, like I said, start off with what they got and then learn how to do all that. All right, we got those cleared out. That's cleared out. That's cleared out. All right. So now we're going to press. Of course you would do all this before. You know what I'm saying? You would get all this prep before you, you know, start doing anything. But I want y'all to actually see them in the package. So. All right. So we're ready to go to the press. Let's go to the press. Excuse my mess. Excuse my mess. I know y'all see those printers over there like, man, what is he doing? <laughs> but I got a lot of orders of printers and stuff, y'all, so excuse me. All right. We're going to do the smaller one first. I always like to start with my small. I don't, I already done, done a lot of these, y'all already sold them. So, um, I know, you know what I'm saying? It's some steps, though, you have to take to do it. So. But there's nothing to it. Image. 
you've done church before, you know I know how to do this. So I'm going to say it anyway. I always lay my image down and just look at the actual size of it. I don't use no measuring nothing, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm straight to it. And, you know, as they say, we wing it. But I'm pretty sure that's straight. You have to use a cover sheet on these. It will melt if you don't. When I'm pressing shirts, I don't use cover sheets. I press straight to the film. But if I'm built on this right here, I made a mistake when I first started doing them and then put a cover sheet and it melted it. So put a cover sheet, okay? All right. Let's go. I have mine at 230, 20 seconds. 230 degrees, 20 seconds. Light, medium pressure. Light, medium pressure. That's one. Now I have, I have, um, excuse me, I got shirts and stuff I gotta get done too. But uh, I have, um, Uh, hot, 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 and hot peel and cold peel paper. You can put it, pull it either way, but I always pull my stuff uh, cold peel because I just I'm gonna show you how. This is my system. Once I get it lined up and I press this one, I'm pulling that one over there. So there you go. I'm pulling it. This one is going down. I'm coming over here now. I know this one is ready. So. Y'all get to see it first. I might put that in my truck. <laughs> All right. But it's another step you have to do now. Don't go out and start running and getting this stuff right now. I'm about to show you some stuff. All right? All right, so this one right here is going over there to the... I moved it. All right. So that's going over there. We're going to the big ones. All right? I'm going to show you how fast it is to make some money with this. This is just one of the things. My next video of what I do... It's gonna be better than this one. Now, we all know that this is the top end of the of the of the it goes up under where your 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 legs are, I mean your feet is at on the car where the brakes are at. So I always bring it down to that split right there. Um I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm gonna let y'all see right there. So I bring it down to the split right there where it starts at, and I know I'm right. Okay. Like I said, this is easy money. All right, we're going back to pressing. Going back to pulling. This is why I say I pull my cold peel, because I ain't got to sit there and wait on it. So I know it's ready. All right, so now we have two already. Just imagine, it's any image. I'm just doing my logo, this is my logo. So um, any image, but just imagine what you can put on them. That's another one, guys. It goes over here. But it's still another step we have to do, all right? And I'm working on a hot trying 16 by 20 press. Hot trying 16 by 20 press. Okay? All right. Hot trying 16 by 20 press. I put it in that plain split. I know where it needs to go at. If y'all see, I'm not even doing no, a whole, oh, I almost messed up. Okay. Let me put this back on there. I want this on the edge. I 
put my finger in that one for some reason. Alright, so. Alright. I'm going to be dropping videos, uh, a lot about a lot of videos. I got a lot of stuff I can show y'all, but um, it's, it's me. Oh, it's me. All right, my bad, y'all. That was my phone. I'm still here. I'm still here, y'all. Don't y'all go nowhere. I'm still here. Let's get this last one on. Um, all right. So I'm going to press this last one. And then we'll be ready to do the other step. You have to do the other step to make it work. Because not when you step on it, it's not going to be right. It's going to tear it up. Pulling this one too. So I, I don't have to wait on them because I know if I do cold peel, even though it says hot peel, I'm good. You know, you have to, you know, uh, once you get used to your press, you'll see what I'm talking about with these right here. All right. We'll let this last one cool off and do it. But already, we've already got three of them. And if I had ran through them, I already had these things done. Um, but literally, you know, I'm not doing no second presses or nothing. So I said I, I do 2:30 on this, okay? On this. Now, when you put it on the shirt, you need to find your temperature, but you need at least to be three something, 315. Three something. I'll put it in work. I'm still at work. Can't wait to. All right. Um, I said this right here is cooling off, and then we'll move to the next, next the next step. All right. Okay. Next step. My phone is like driving me crazy, y'all. But I'm still here. It keeps coming out of my box. And this is DTF. Yeah, I saw somebody ask that. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, SP. Hey, look what I'm rocking, SP Pope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, all right next step y'all can see that image yeah y'all can see it now all right so that's the that's the image you have to get this to make this work, okay? So you have to spray it, and you have to have three coats on it. You don't want to do this in your house. I'm gonna do it one time, and we're gonna call it a day, but you know, you don't want to do this in your house. You want to take precaution and uh, do it the right way, okay? You need some ventilation and everything before you do this. I'm gonna spray it, and it's gonna take about five minutes to dry, then you hit it again, then you hit it again. I put three coats on mine. You can go how many coats you want to go, okay? But um, this is what I do, all right? First, I bend it to go ahead and get the stretch on it, okay? Then I hit it.
And that's it. All that right there is going to dry up. You're not going to see none of that, okay? And then once it does that, I hit them again. So this is one. Now you will see like a little breakage in there, but don't don't think it's something wrong with it. All right, it's gonna do that. You want you want it to break and then come back. So you take it and you spray it again. Well, I'm spraying another one right now. Okay. 